Hey, what's up fam? I have some great news. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to create a YouTube banner with DaVinci Resolve that you just installed on your computer. It was a challenge because I couldn't find anyone that created this kind of video. So this is how it looks. It's not, you know, flashy, but it was something simple that can be done in 20 minutes. I'm gonna show you guys the exact settings. You have two text boxes. The first text is this setting screenshot if you like right here and then the second text is the text that's underneath that says empowering you to start and succeed on youtube okay you can screenshot there and then this is the photo you can use any photo that you would prefer you know something that um, that relates to your channel and you can put that underneath on on video two and this is the screenshot you can take right. on the right. And then you have the paper, that's the background. You can use any background that you like, okay? There's plenty of options that you can go through. There's this contour speed line, see this? There's noise gradient. You can use whatever background you want, okay? But just for this purpose of trying to make 30 videos in 30 days, I'm trying to knock this out because the previous video, I'm still editing it right now. And so putting a lot of work, but I'm just gonna just push it out there. But anyways, um, let's get to it. We're gonna start a new timeline and we're just gonna start fresh, okay? So to make it quick, I'm just gonna copy this. Put this on here by putting Control V, okay, and automatic C on video two. So the background I use, you just go to your toolbox, generators, and paper. Put that on video one, okay, and then we use two text plus, okay. So we're gonna scroll up to the top. We're gonna go text plus, put one on top, Philip. So how did I go about it? So the fonts I used was Impact. Then I used the color green that I have saved. You can look here exactly where I've chosen. When you click here, then it'll show up in this box. Then you can drag this into here and it'll pop up. Okay, like this. Click here and drags. Yeah, so we can drag it to a different new spot, right? It's the same thing. Hit OK. And then I use that green color and then we're going to add some shading. Three. Hit three on sh select element, then hit enabled. Now we have to go to the... So we move this to 0 0.350. In settings. One eight one. Click here the settings. Minus three hundred and thirty three. Okay. Wow. Okay. So as you can see, it's moving to the left. That's the uh, position. Your x axis. And then we need to control the y-axis. Okay, we move this to 119. One nineteen. All right, we got our 119. Perfect. Now we're gonna work on the smaller text font. So we have to add another text, video three. And change the font to impact. Leave it as white. Shading, we do the same thing. We go shading, three, enabled. And then we'll go to text. And then we have to work on the size. 0 0.0354, 0 0.0354. There you go. So we have to go to settings. So let's move that to minus 314. And then we have to adjust the y-axis. We'll get that to 50. There you go. 
0 0.760 so let's make that smaller 0 0.760 okay. so there you have it that looks similar to what we have on our home page okay is it perfect no but it's another way to make a custom banner when i was making it of course there was like a lot of adjustment figuring out but i'm just trying to show you guys like, if you put the exact settings of each of these uh setup and it's literally only four clips so you can make it even better by you see these empty spaces on the left and the right you can add like your logo your instagram brand but this is just a starting point you know just to get something going like you have your channel name you have your slogan it doesn't have to be perfect guys it's just a matter of having something that relates to your channel all right so if you guys like this video i hope you guys like subscribe and share this content to other people uh, that you know your friends or family that are interested in starting youtube uh, let's see what else can i go in detail what i did but yeah like for example you can delete this paper background and you can just put a different background. So in the background is in the toolbox generator and you have all these different options, okay? You can do a solid color, okay? Click here and then you can go to generator and you can change the color, okay? You can change the color like that. You can change it to pink, green, okay? But there's different backgrounds, look, there's that one okay there's vintage vintage texture okay that's actually that actually looks nice but yeah you can try it out mess around and then put the paper background on there okay in order to save this file you need to go to your color wheel all right right click grab still and if you don't see this you have to click gla uh, gallery on the top left, okay? You see how that is? And then in your gallery, right click, export. I save it in my folder thumbnail. So you can, you know, create a folder thumbnail before you, you save it. And then I can call this banner oh. test export. Okay, remember I showed you guys before, because this is in 19, 20, 10, 80, you don't need to do any adjustment, no setting changes, no conversion, no nothing. You don't need to use any other app, but just DaVinci Resolve. So this is why I love this process so far. Okay, it's very easy. So now we're gonna go to, let's just go to a homepage. Oh shoot. Okay, I don't have internet. For some reason the internet does work like right at the staircase. Okay. So we're gonna go to the home page. All right, and then usually you have this icon on the top right. Go to your YouTube studio, and then we're gonna go to scroll down to customization, okay? Click customization, and then you wanna change your banner image, okay? Click that. Then you can go to where we save that as banner test. Open, and then voila. Okay, and we want to see this work. You just click here on the top left, view channel on YouTube. And there you go. You just had a YouTube banner in less than 20 minutes. A good free tool to use. 30 videos, 30 titles. Hope you guys like this video. So stay tuned for the next video. Click right here for creating an eye-catching thumbnail.